Charging is probably the most variable and stressful part of EV ownership. Not just for the driver, but for the battery's life too. So how does charging work and what are the cables you need to know about? Allow the Vox Network to explain. Charging an electric vehicle is a lot like charging your mobile phone. You need to be able to connect the battery to a power source. Generally speaking, the higher the voltage of this power source, the quicker you can feed electricity into the car. There are three main types of chargers, slow, fast and rapid. All three representing different user cases and different power outputs measured in kilowatts. Slow charging involves plugging your car into a standard electrical outlet, like a conventional plug. While it can be convenient for home use, allowing owners to take advantage of low energy tariffs, the power output is so limited that it can take hours to generate any significant boost in vehicle range. Some vehicle supplied home chargers are designated as fast as are most public charge points. Fast charging can be ideal when your EV is parked up for a few hours, which is why they work so well near restaurants, shopping centers, and business parks. Rapid chargers are the fastest way to juice up, and although they may command the highest energy tariffs due to this convenience, they're easily the best option when on the move. There are two options, the 50 kilowatt rapid charger that's peppered along every major auto route and the latest ultra rapids, capable of charging at a rate anywhere between 100 kilowatts and 350 kilowatts. Tesla's supercharger network also fits into this ultra rapid category, although they are exclusively available for Tesla customers. It's worth noting that charging speed doesn't just depend on the maximum rate of the charge point. It also depends on the maximum charging rate of the vehicle. So if your car's maximum charge rate is 50 kilowatts, for example, it won't charge any faster using a 350 kilowatt ultra rapid. Next up, cables. Electric vehicles use different charging cables and plugs depending on their make and model. Modern EVs will feature a Type 1 or Type 2 socket which are used for slow and fast charging. But for rapid charging, most car makers are split between either CHAdeMO or CCS connectors. We say most because Tesla has its own connector too. CHAdeMO is an abbreviation of Charge De Move and is used by Nissan, Mitsubishi, Toyota and Honda. The CHAdeMO Association has also developed Vehicle to Grid or V2G protocol, a new technology that allows EVs to communicate with the electricity grid when charging. This allows the car to regulate its charging rate during peak demand or even sell surplus electricity back to the grid when energy stored in the car isn't required. For other car makers, combined charging system or CCS chargers are their go-to connector with a design that allows both AC and DC chargers to be combined within a single plug design. The good news for consumers is that charge point operators provide multi-standard rapid chargers so every vehicle is served. The bad news is that this process of charging isn't quite as seamless as it perhaps should be. Some charge point providers let you pay as you go with a contactless credit card, while others require you to have an account or download a specific app on your phone. It's this fragmented experience that's putting off lots of potential EV customers and explains why Tesla, with its bespoke network of fast, reliable chargers, remains the brand to beat. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment and let us know what you want to learn more about in the next episode of I Speak Electric.